like fascinated with acupuncture, but I'm also a little afraid of it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, do you find that most people are a little like mixed emotions when they come in to see you for the first time? A lot of people do get nervous. I tell people we can fit anywhere from 25 to 35 of our needles in the tip of right. the needle that you would typically see at the doctor's office. So really? That's how small they are. You're barely penetrating the epidermis, correct? Yes, we barely go in. Unless right. we're treating certain areas, we have to go in a little bit deeper. And it's a, a butcher's hide. Yeah, right you know. in there grinding. We hide those, though. Mm. Right. Yeah. Sneak up on them. <laughs> Slap their face first, then stab them. And then we make a nice chopped vegetable okay. stew. What are we treating you for? Yeah, what are we? What Stress and anxiety. Stress and anxiety? All right. Cool. I'll okay. assist. Is that okay? So, yeah, I would love for you to. Okay, All right, good. he's my helper today. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, before we begin this autopsy, <laughs> very nervous. What, uh, what are we going to do? What's the first thing we do? The very first thing that we do is we get our needles ready, which I have an assistant with today, and then we're going to swab our points with alcohol. Okay. Okay? All right. So you're going to know exactly Those where points. I'm going, okay? Oh. oh. Right there. We're putting one right, oh, and right there, and right there. And then we're going to come down here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How was that? That wasn't so bad. No, that's fine. Are we finished? <laughs> oh. Wonderful. Okay, and now we go in. Are you ready? Bullseye. No. Here we go. Have you ever had a patient be cross-eyed after this procedure? Yeah. We As tell people don't go cross-eyed trying to look at it. No, yeah, your first yet. one's in. <laughs> you can... I didn't feel anything. And you're, again, you're just going to feel the guide tube and a pop. quick little pop there in. Is. This is just a anxiety treatment, basically. You know, a lot of uh, people that suffer from anxiety for, always forget to shave their legs. Okay, I couldn't tell you who like, shaves. Just, what, you don't feel anything? I'm not kidding. You know I'm a drama queen. And I would freak out if I could feel this, and I feel literally nothing. So, oh, wait a minute. So you just do this and then relax? Uh-huh. That's great. Yeah. I'm freaking out because I'm so amazed at how painless it was. And I was ready for the pain so that I could overreact. I just want to touch it. Don't touch I'm it. I'm not going to press it. Don't. I just want to. No, touch. Don't, Lee. I just want to do that. You did. You it's actually therapeutic. We actually do do that. See, I knew what I was doing the whole time. Look at that. No, stop. I can feel that. Yeah. Stop. 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 You stop. Will, you stop, will, you stop. will start to hurt her if you do yeah, it too stop. much. <laughs> so what we'll do anytime that something oh. is uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> oh, I felt that one. <laughs> When you have an assistant that can't keep their hands off of somebody and they yeah. end up causing some discomfort, mm -hmm. we usually take the spot out, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And then you can just kind of rub around it mm -hmm. and the discomfort kind of goes away very quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, normally you won't but have up the something healing, like this I? happening. Um, we'll say, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to work in a drive through acupuncture. That's did how you? we did it. Yeah. Oh. How long was that business? Okay. Well, they, we shut down after a couple of days. <laughs> but we thought it was a great idea. But it was great at the time. We'd, <laughs> we'd stick it in and just rub it real quick, oh! like, and then they're out. This is going to be the most intense cupping experience I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to start the full body wax. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, so really we're going to do cupping. Who was that guy we're going to do talking. cupping. Okay. Yes. So the first step is to put down some oil wherever we're going to be treating. Okay. All right. Put it down. Let's do it. We call this the Exxon Valdez. Oh. All right. And I'm sorry, my hands are a little bit cold. I've been touched by colder, I'll tell you this. So now we're going to get the suction going. We're going to light it on fire. Molotov cocktail. <laughs> That's right. This is awesome. Can I get you to hold my cups? Yes. Can you hold these two? This is so cool. Okay. You guys ready? All right, so you're gonna feel some suction as it kind of goes up in there, all right? Yeah. Is that too much or does that feel okay? Feels good. Good. Huh. And then we can kind of move them around a little bit just to work out some of the kinks. And they'll slide nicely because of the oil. I can't believe how far up in there it is. The discoloration afterwards is diagnostic for us. So the darker that something is after you see you've had cupping or you see somebody else who's had it, the more inflammation was present there to begin with. Oh, his mm -hmm. is gonna be blood red. <laughs> they vary anywhere from really light red to almost black. <laughs> it's kind of cool, kind of gross. How does it feel? What does it feel like? Feels like um, in the. Uh... Seduced by a vampire. <laughs> Big true blood guy. Mm -hmm. How do you remove them? 
You don't? Well. You get a running start. Yeah. You just place Take a, a finger hammer, break next your glass. to it. Uh -huh. And you're just going to break the seal. Hmm. Just like that. Sounds like Haley cleaning her ears. There you go. That's true. Based on his discoloration. Uh-huh. What, what do you think? So we can see it's darker down here. Yeah. All right. So there's more inflammation here, but we know that the rhomboids, maybe some of the infraspinatus would need treatment. So we would know next time at his next visit, maybe to focus on that muscle a little bit. Yeah. I've been telling you to check your infraspinatus. <laughs> <laughs> Which I ordered at Johnny Carino's the other day. That's right. It's delicious. Mm, it's mm. so good. Good stuff. It's good fat. Well, you're rife with problems. Well done. Okay. <laughs> Now you just want to go to sleep for a little bit? Yeah.